hello friends welcome to this video and in this video we are going to develop an echo server to demonstrate network programming using tcp ip in java so we will develop an echo server that will accept incoming connection and help in communication with the client so first we'll import our classes and we need two classes first is java.net second is java.io so we have import our two classes now we will declare our public class now we will define our static main method public static void main now we will define a server socket and before that let me just add one more statement here that is throws to get uh, to get an exception. That is IU exception. Throws IU exception. Now we will declare our socket server globally. Server socket. Server soc equals to null. Now we will use try catch statement. server so should be equals to new server socket and the port number like 8899 so we will try to create a new server socket and if it catches an exception are you exception then we will print out a message Can't listen on port number eight eight nine nine. Okay, and then we'll exit the system. System dot exit. So till here we have just created a server so socket object and define it as null then we will try to connect it within the try catch statement so uh, that we can catch any exception you can just also define like exceptions here if you want to catch more exceptions if you like but i feel like there is only one kind of exception here is that is i exception so i haven't defined more exceptions now after this we will define a client socket socket client soc and give this value as null now if mm, the control of the java reaches here this means that our client server socket is start listening on port number 889 so we will print out a message here listening listening for connection put these nice statements here now we will use a try catch statement and try to accept the connection from the client client soc is equal to server soc dot accept so we have accepted connection here and if there is a are you exception then we will print out the message accept failed and then we will exit the system now if this connection if the accept statement su executes successfully without any error or exception this means that the connection is successful so we'll print out a message here print ln
connection let me capital it successful <clears throat> now we will uh, listening for an input listening for input print writer dot output is equals to new print writer client sock dot get output I think it should be capital here gets client soak dot get output stream and it should be true and we have the we create a buffer reader object here buffer reader input is equal to new buffer reader new input stream reader client soak dot get input stream so uh, we have created the buffer reader object now create a string input line while input line is equals to input dot read line is not should be is not equal to null system dot out dot print ln server should be concatenating the input line output should be print ln with input line oh sorry input line and if input line dot equals equals to by that we made small then break the loop and here we will close all the connections open socket output dot close input dot close <coughs> client circuit dot close server circuit dot close so we have uh, written our program now we will test compile it and then test it with the netcat <coughs> jvac echo server dot java So we have error in the line three errors line number ten, nineteen, and thirty-seven. First, we'll see line number ten. So it says identify expected line number ten. Are you exception? Try catch. Oh oh, that's the problem. I exception and that's the problem same problem here next third one is 37 Bye. 
and I have written it by and I need to write the break I just got confused so now this program is correct and uh, it haven't written any error so you can see listening for connection and we will use netcat and see we are the local computer 8899 first like local local host 8899 so you can see connection successful listening for input we will send it some message hello you can see that server has received hello and then send the hello back because it's an echo server the client sends some data the server receives that and then server sends that same data back to the client so you can see our client server is working successfully and for client we have used the netcat i think that's all for this video let me close this and you can see the connection also closes here and i think that's all for this video if you like this video hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then subscribe it now and please share this video with your friends thank you have a nice day